So just like before, we need to generate the tables, all right? So from our database, we'll go to our, remember, our command prompt, and then uh, paste what we copied from InfuM. So I'm going to expand this so you see exactly what's there. So that's it. Um, PHP Artisan InfuM scaffold, the model name, and then the table name. So the table name is in is a tasks. And then the model name is task with a capital T. That's task this way. We hit enter. Then after within a few seconds, um, from what I'm seeing, we have an error that we need to resolve. Okay, on the find index tasks. All right, tasks is not defined because uh, we've not run the migration uh, for tasks. But at the same time, if we run migrations, it's going to wipe everything. So I'll have to manually create this table on my database. So if we go to PHP my admin to the database we created, I called my referrer. Depends on whatever you call yours. So we have to manually create the, the table, call it tasks. And uh, how many fields does it have? Tasks have two, four, six fields. And then of course we need to add soft delete. This way, make sure you add this line. This line um, enables soft delete automatically. So we're gonna go to the tasks user and add it to. All right. So um, right now we are going to just create these fields, and um, I think the fields are how many in number? There are two, four, six, uh, seven, eight. There are eight in number. So going to our PHP manager. We're gonna go eight Hit enter so we can now start adding we have ID we have user ID we have title we have instruction and then we have um, what else um, reward points reward points that's how many reward points the user will get for doing this then we have soft delete uh, before that we have um, created that we have um, modified that updated that updated that then we have a uh, deleted that as a soft delete so um this particular guy Timestamp stands for created at and updated at. It takes care of these two fields and deleted at is this. So this is date time. I'll press D on my keyboard after clicking on this. D, press D again, press D again, press D one more time. Then we see date time. So I'll do that again. D, 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 D time. D, 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 D. Yeah. <clears throat> so the next one is reward points is an integer. So as mom is 11, instruction. I think I think instruction is in text. Yeah, uh, we leave it empty. We leave text and um, time empty. Title is a variable character. We we'll put it at two five five. And then integer. Integer is in uh, user is an integer which is a uh, eleven, and then ID is an integer which is eleven. All right. So we have to start looking at the optional fields. Uh, long text is uh, optional and the reward points has a default of zero so if we come here we can say okay according to the ones that are null we can make sure that these ones are null uh, created and updated that are null look at this null column then the reward points i think the reward points is optional is zero by default so by default reward point is zero as defined we just enter zero and then the instruction is um, null, is nullable. So I think this basically solves our problem, except that we still need to make the ID auto increment. So check this button and click OK. The reason this AI means auto increment because um, that is what Laravel has here increment, you see. So now we have it. We can now scroll down to lower right here. We'll click save. So it has saved. We need to do this again for the task user. So click on referrer. 
So we'll do this for task user, but that will be in the next video. Tasks user. I think it's task user, all singular. So uh, see you in the next video.